digging these step bands. Uh, yeah, this yeah, space I'm, is really cool. I you may have got a convert. Good morning. I'm in Monument, Colorado down near Colorado Springs and getting some fuel right now. Today I'm going to do a road trip. I'm going to head over to Colorado Springs since I'm nearby and go to the Garden of the Gods. The Garden of the Gods is one of the many sandstones type parks in the western United States. Some of the more famous ones are Arches or Zions out in Utah, uh, Bryce Canyon. Uh, here in Colorado, we have Red Rocks, which is just outside of Lakewood and Denver. And down in Colorado Springs, we have Garden of the Gods. I've arrived at the Garden of the Gods parking lot and the view from the parking lot is just absolutely gorgeous. Check this out. This giant red rock over here. It's incredible. I've been to the Garden of the Gods Park probably three or four times because it's down in Colorado Springs. I don't usually get down to this area. I should mention that I lived in Colorado Springs when I was about six years old, but I only lived here for approximately a year. This morning's walk, like many of my other walks in the morning, is in preparation for the El Camino coming up in September. I'm trying to get in a good hour's worth of walking, at least an hour, hour and a half each time. One of the popular things to do here is to go climbing on these red rocks. You have to get a special permit from the park in advance, but then you're able to climb these little pinnacles. You can see there's a group of climbers going up here on this rock behind me. When I was six years old, we lived in Colorado Springs in one of the suburbs here. Uh, my father was working as a mining engineer, building several tunnels and rooms for a large military complex near here called NORAD. It's like the North America Defense System. I forget exactly the acronym for NORAD. But uh, he built two tunnels, I think, and two rooms, something like that. And so I lived here about when I was six years old. This area I'm coming to up ahead is uh, known for weddings. So there's lots of wedding ceremonies here. So might get lucky this weekend and see a wedding happening. I think one of the reasons I like Garden of the Gods is it's a little bit like it's out of a scene of a sci-fi movie, like one of those uh, Star Trek movies where he fights uh, a green sort of lizard monster. It's just really cool. Check out the, all these cool red rocks here. Wow, it is just gorgeous up here. Slightly out of breath because I'm climbing up a, a hillside here, but the view looking down where I was before is just quite amazing. It's just gorgeous here in Colorado. You've got to visit here. I found a nice place to just sit in the shade, relax for a few minutes, sort of at the top of this little hill that I climbed up to and enjoy the view looking down at Colorado Springs and over across the valley to Manitou Springs. Uh, off in the distance is Pikes Peak. I didn't see any weddings today. I am going to head back to the parking lot and go find some breakfast. I'm back in Monument, Colorado at Doug's house and today we're going to look, work a little bit on his fence around his uh, dog walk area in his backyard and then do a little bit more work on the step van. 
This is Doug's backyard and here's where he has his dogs. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of work on the fence to expand the area for the dogs. Here's the boards we're gonna be cutting. And Doug's uh, trailer, which he has built out in his truck. So when we were camping last weekend, he had his trailer, he was staying in the back of that and his workshop in the back of his truck. So he's got a nice, gorgeous property up here. Tons of trees, it's beautiful. Fabulous weather here. Uh, really enjoying being Colorado up here in the mountains. We're repairing this top area of the dog run, I guess it's caged area for the dogs to run around. Uh, this area here from oh, the top three foot, two and a half foot between the house and this corner post here. We cut four small boards to go across here. I guess these are probably two by twos uh, from some scrap that he had from a previous job. Doug is a um, general contractor, does construction of houses and buildings and things like that. So anyway, so we use some scrap and just put these four boards in here. This is temporary until he has some chain link and something else just to keep the dogs in. We're gonna add a tarp for some uh, shade. And then in the next week or two, Doug's going to be building a new deck back here, which is why he's removed his other deck that you see that goes on the um, sliding glass door back here. Ah. The project for today is to take these aluminum panels that were in the ceiling and finish insulating the bottom 40 inches of the back end of the step band. So we got to cut these at 40 inches and go install them and put the blue denim behind them and batten them up. We finished the project for the day. We have the insulation in, the entire bottom 40 inches, and the metal paneling. Doug has been just absolutely amazing. I've been learning so much, just everything on how to put in screws, how to hold panels up, everything. Thank you, Doug. Right? <laughs> yeah, actually you can put your head against the paneling while you're screening it. That's another tip I learned. I'm amazed by all this room now that everything's off the floor. And yeah, everything. you got it's, so much more room in here. To it's incredible. Run around and work. And yeah, it's like a 80% improvement in my space that I have. It's absolutely incredible. I'm digging these step bands. That's, yeah, this yeah, space I'm, is really cool. I you may have, have got a convert. <laughs> yeah, I may have converted Doug over to getting his step band. Yeah. And you can tow a trailer with it too. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, we're cool. super pleased with the progress. It just looks incredible. I'll give you a little tour here. Okay, I'm gonna go start putting things away. All right. By the way, you may have noticed that I'm using the two loading bars that I bought at Harbor Freight here to hold the remaining scraps that I have from my build uh, against the wall here. So I've got a bunch of little pieces and parts and uh, some cushions that I was using for sleeping on the floor and I'm just holding them in place there and it's just fabulous. I have so much space in the in the floor area here. Uh, it's going to make it really easy to continue the build out and get the top 40 inches insulated. I still need to put in furring strips and uh, put the insulation in. And I think I'm going to use pallet wood up there. Uh, originally I was thinking of using tongue and groove pine, but now I'm thinking I'll go with pallet wood. Anyway, that's uh, all I have for this episode. I think I uh, made lots of progress today. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.